Numerous European nations have been affected by an energy crisis this year. Countries are unable to resolve the energy problem in light of the challenging circumstances. The German government announced intentions to set aside your 200 billion in October to compensate the populace for the impact of the energy crisis. Britain's proposal to develop seven nuclear power facilities to address the nation's electrical issues is significantly more extensive than Germany's, and stated that the building of two nuclear power plants would be finished in 2057 as a matter of priority in order to assure the security of its own energy. The nuclear power plant project will be available for global public biding. And right now, there are three visibly participating national enterprises, those of France, Japan, and the United States. Although the British people must wait at least eight years, the proposal is fantastic. We don't know how patient the locals will be in waiting for this fantastic project. After all, they are currently experiencing the worst energy crisis ever, and it just so happens to be the chilly winter. Perhaps you are asking the same thing that I am. Public bids are now being accepted for this substantial project. China did not submit a proposal. Why? This is not the Chinese engineering team's style. In truth, the UK began construction on a new nuclear power plant in 2015, although it has not yet been finished. China has taken part in this project, which is called Hinkley Point CA They Project, which will be finished in 2023, has received a total investment of, say, 30 billion. Unfortunately, China, a building, the Hinkley Point C nuclear power project, the largest nuclear power plant building project in UK history, was agreed upon by China, France, and the UK in September 2016. It has certain circumstances that make it possible to build nuclear power plants. It faces Bristol Bay to the north and has a small population. Given its size, the Hinkley Point C project's cost was higher than 30 billion because of the significant investment needed to finish it. At that time, the United Kingdom made the decision to look for foreign finance, and it encouraged China and France to join it. 30, 3.5s of the shares are willing to be invested by China when the project is expected to be finished. It will provide 30,000 employment, 10 of Shanghai's power, and have a minimum lifespan of 60 years. In addition to utilizing it to relay outdated nuclear power stations, the United Kingdom had plans to construct it at the time. Additionally, it would reduce the amount of air pollution brought on by industrial expansion in the United Kingdom and eliminate 600 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions over a 60-year period, or 9 million tons, annually. The locals had thus been anticipating the project. However, it is incredible that China abruptly announced its withdrawal from the nuclear power plant project when the UK sought to stop this well-known nuclear power plant project. The COVID-19 pandemic, which has left people unable to function regularly owing to the occurrence of layoffs in the UK due to the epidemic, is partially to blame for the project's several delays since it began in March 2017. Additionally, China, a stakeholder, opposes putting employees at danger by allowing construction to begin in the case of an epidemic, which has led the project to continue to be delayed and resulted in significant budget overruns. Before 2022, the new crown outbreak had not subsided. The project has been delayed by two years as of current year, costing 50s more than the initial estimate. Insiders are also worried that China's prolonged involvement in the nuclear power plant would result in geopolitical issues and are planning to cut China out of the project since the UK revealed its intention to join the UK's nuclear submarine deal with the US and Australia. Later, when Western nations began to shun Huawei Fiveg, the UK outlawed the use of Huawei hardware. Huawei is a sizable mobile phone firm with a significant market share in China. The UK then once more suggested cutting China out of the project. China agreed to legally withdraw from the Hinkley Point C project after ceasing to demand. Britain has put a lot of work into the growth of the nation, so choosing this choice naturally has implications. However, Hinkley Point C's development remains still incomplete after China withdrew from the project. The UK is now making great efforts to create new joint ventures and is thinking about collaborating with Japan. However, there are still certain controversies that are still being debated. However, a start date for the project has not yet been established. The undertaking has been delayed and is yet unfinished. Hinkley Point C was a significant challenge for the nation and was not finished on time. 
The absence of project finance, which in extreme situations might potentially jeopardize the whole energy supply and the government's strategic strategy, is now seen as the largest issue the nation will confront. You know, after losing Chinese investment, the UK's top priority right now is energy. In order to address the challenges caused by its outdated nuclear power sector, the UK may need to shut down four significant nuclear power stations over the course of the next four years. In actuality, the UK had constructed its own nuclear power plant as early as the 1960s, and the first one owned was the British Modbury Nuclear Power Plant. As a result, the United Kingdom was among the first nations to use nuclear energy in story. Later, as a result of the many benefits of nuclear power plants combined with the traits of a reliable power source. This energy source has always been crucial to the UK. It is unfortunate that nuclear power plant service life is such a severe issue. The UK must decommission its outdated nuclear power reactors and place its faith in the future. Whenever there is no other option, nuclear power plants. Our understanding is that the new nuclear power plant with which the UK is presently collaborating is the first new nuclear power plant to be built in the UK in 30 years, indicating the significance of the project for the country presently in the energy mix in the UK. Nuclear energy will provide 15 to 25 of the world's electricity. After 40 years of operation, Britain's Hinkley Point B nuclear power station is likely to be decommissioned in the next two months. There isn't a new nuclear power plant to replace the existing one. This will be far worse for the UK and put its electrical grid through a serious test. The temperature is now progressively dropping at this point. The supply of natural gas to Europe has been cut off by Russia, and the UK is scrambling to find alternatives. In fact, several UK media outlets think China may make a good partner. For many years prior, China and the UK maintained close relations. China has made more than $20 billion in investments in the UK as of 2018. Additionally, the United Kingdom established a record high in the export of Chinese goods in 2019, which indicates that China is also a crucial export market for the United Kingdom. This information was included in the 2019 record. China has traditionally placed a high value on the growth of its trading relations with Europe. China used to be the United Kingdom's top import supplier, with bilateral commerce between the two countries previously reaching $100 billion. Additionally, China has collaborated on several international initiatives with other nations. These initiatives are now progressing healthily and enhancing people's quality of life. However, following internal discussion, the UK has taken a decision and China has formally abandoned the project. In light of the present energy situation, the UK must consider if China still has the chance to join in the new nuclear power plant project. We ask that the construction of the new nuclear power plant be finished as soon as feasible, addressing the local population's electricity problem to alleviate their burden of high living costs. What opinions do you have on this? Watch other amazing news you didn't know about.